Hey, what's up? Um, this is just a demonstration of the eFix chip that turns any PC into a Macintosh. I'm sure you've seen it and heard about it. Let me just show you the specs of the Hackintosh that I built. Let's see if we can zoom in and on here. All right, got the Gigabyte board, the GAEP45 DSR3. I got the Radian 2600, the Coolmax 1200 watt power supply, quad core Intel, eight gigabytes of RAM, and then I got a Western Digital Caviar drive, which turned out to be DOA, so I went and got a terabyte instead. And then I have the 20x DVD burner, and it is a serial ATA. And if we go down the list, 129, 66, 199, 189, um, 133 for 8 gigs, 67, 24, 827. And then plus I also have about, um, I think, $60 in rebates coming off that. Let's go ahead and look at the hardware. Dell 20-inch monitor, um, G15 keyboard. I've got the um, Apple keyboard, I just haven't put it on. MX Revolution, let's look at the box. It's a Leanne Lie case. There's um, OS X retail, 10.5.4. I already did the updates into 10.5.5. Let's just look inside the case, make sure everything's legit. And there is the eFix chip itself. I have it plugged directly into the USB. It comes with a cable, but you can attach it right there via sticky pad, but I just haven't done that yet. The computer itself is pretty bare bone. There's the 2600. It's a fanless. It's just a big heat sink. There's the quad core. There's 8 gigs of RAM. There's my terabyte drive. And let's see how fast this thing's going to start up. I only have one functional drive in here. This is an old IDE that I didn't you know take out same thing with the floppy itself and power on light comes on and hopefully she'll work there's the initial and let's go ahead and time it if you want to As you can see, that's a little ticker meaning that the eFix is working. There's the default drives. You either boot into the DVD, or since I only have one drive on there, it's the OSX drive. Sees it. There's a little indicator meaning that's loading. It's not as fast as a true hardware Mac, but it's not exactly the slowest machine either. And here we come boom there she goes and how about that let's go ahead and do a quick systems check sorry if I'm holding the camera a little bit jacked up about this Mac oh sorry as you can see I've already done the updates 10.5.5 2.4 gigahertz unknown, 8 gigs RAM, more info, go ahead and expand that all the way, sorry, and there she goes, eFix chip, sorry zooming in is going kind of crazy, but that's basically it. Let me go ahead, go to the graphics, and since I have a true 256 meg card, it sees it as 256, I don't have a 512 in there, but it does everything pretty well. Go ahead and back on out of it. Let's go ahead and do a quick safari, and she's running. And there you go. She's up. Let's go ahead and go to iMovie. Love that. She's running. And there she is. Quick little snippets. 
close that, close that, close that. And pretty much that's it. That's the e-fix in general. It runs great. Really haven't had any, well, I haven't had any problems with it at all. And there's just a shot of the one terabyte drive. And that's pretty much about it. That's just a working model of the e-fix. And it's good. I got it on eBay for $165. And I couldn't have made a better investment because I got a quad core, terabyte, 8 gigs RAM, 256 minute drive um, video. So, I don't know, it works out for me. I hope this helps y'all make any decisions. And, you know, it's a hardware hackintosh, not a software hack. Because, oh, let me go ahead and verify. Do a software update, see if anything's available. Thank you for new software. And no, software is up to date. All right. Well, kids, I hope you had a good time. And I hope this helped you all out because I know watching little videos like this helps me out when I make my decisions. Okay, cool. All right. See you all later.